In my last video, we talked about what the real estate prices in the greater Toronto area look like, what the average days on market, the current supply and demand looks like. In this video, we're going to talk about why these prices are at an all-time high and what is driving these prices up. Let's get into it. The first reason, as you may already have known, is the mortgage interest rates. They are at an all-time low. It currently costs very less to borrow money, and that is driving prices up significantly. For example, in this mortgage calculator, when you borrow $100,000 at a 25-year amortization, it costs very little money to borrow a hundred thousand when we do the 30-year amortization it's even low that gives you a good indication of why people don't mind overpaying for properties and entering bidding wars and going significantly over asking price now i know because it's so easy to overpay on homes since the rates are so low people are doing it left and right does that mean it's the wise decision to make i don't necessarily agree but we'll get into later on why prices will continue to go up. So even if you overpay a little bit on your home, you end up coming out winning in the course of three to five years anyway. Now the second reason why home prices are continuing to go up is because of the construction costs, particularly lumber costs have reached an all time peak. It costs a lot of money to buy vacant land and construct a home on it than it did before. And this is why a lot of homeowners are resorting to resale homes versus building their own property. This is also why pre-construction and custom built homes are starting to become more expensive. Now this will affect more of the freehold homes like townhomes, detached and semi-detached homes. Not as much the condos because those are buildings with concrete structures. However, these other properties will see an increase in price simply because it costs a lot to build such homes. So naturally it will reflect on the price of them as well. The third reason, and I've been saying this in my previous videos as well, is that people like to work from home. The trend has changed from going to office spaces to having an office in your house. So what we see now is people wanting that extra bedroom, that extra nook to set up their office space and work from home. So a lot of people tend to actually move up a notch from where they are now either go with a larger living space, an extra bedroom, so those one bedroom homes are upsizing to two, two bedrooms to three, so or larger homes are starting to see uh, an increase in price a lot quicker. Not to say those one bedrooms aren't selling either because those one bedrooms need to sell at a higher price in order to upsize them to two bedrooms. Another reason why home prices are going to stay up is because for the last year, people didn't go out as much. There were a lot less expenses on car gas payments and outings, which resulted in people saving up more for their down payment and paying off those higher debt items like their credit cards, their car loans, which are higher interest loans. By paying those off quicker, they're now able to actually afford these low interest loans like housing prices. What I mean by that is every dollar you pay towards a high interest loan like your car payment at a 5% or higher interest rate, you now have the ability to borrow a mortgage on a much lower rate in fact five times lower so now you can actually afford a home that is a lot higher in price than your car payment this is allowing a lot of homeowners and first-time buyers accumulate a higher down payment and enter the market creating a higher demand and a low supply which I'll get into in the next factor the fourth reason we're seeing prices go up is the market sentiment we see a lot of home buyers and sellers have the fear of loss what I mean by that is people know and think that the prices will continue going up and they don't want to miss the boat so they enter the market even if they don't necessarily need to purchase a home at this time we call this the FOMO effect which is the fear of missing out this may continue to increase the prices because now we have a high demand and low supply once again now another reason why the Canadian housing market will continue to go up particularly in Ontario is because if we look at this map we can see the green belt that literally stops homeowners from building more properties and builders of course this restricts a lot of the residents to stay in the same area and builders to build upward rather than outward. And that's why we see so many high-rise buildings being built, which is driving these prices up even more. 
people have to price other residents outside of the in-demand areas out of the market in order to keep their property value up and balance the supply and demand market. Here is another piece of evidence to back up what I just said. This letter was written for the Manhattan residents and it states clearly why prices in Manhattan in the USA is actually a lot more expensive than the rest of the country. And it's simply because of the lack of options to build. They cannot build as many homes in the restricted space, which is driving the prices up because there is a low supply and a high demand ongoingly. So while the demand did die out in the last few months and the last year for that matter, the supply has been significantly low as well, which resulted in the prices staying strong or and increasing rapidly. The last factor to consider why home prices are going up is due to COVID. So because of the virus, many sellers are refraining from listing their homes on the market, which is also contributing in the low supply in the market. Many sellers do not want new buyers to come into their property and consistently bring in germs. They are very fearful of strangers entering their home, especially when they live there. Now, this could affect demand as well, but when you really think about it, a buyer doesn't fear being exposed to COVID as much when they're entering someone else's house as a seller does when someone's entering a place that they live in. And this is one of the main reasons why there's less sellers in the market, but more buyers, resulting in a higher price increase once again. So there you have it folks. These are some of the main reasons why the home prices will continue to soar high and it won't likely drop in the near future. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button so I can continue to make more content around the data of the real estate home prices and helpful tips and tricks on how to buy and sell your next property. In addition to these videos, I do also post regularly on my Instagram and Facebook account, which I will list below somewhere. And if you have not seen my real estate update video on what the home prices look like currently, do check it out on the video above. Hope you enjoy this video. If there's any other topics or suggestions you'd like to make, shoot them in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you again. Cheers.